Have you ever wondered what They Might Be Giants have been up to since you stopped listening to them? I was a huge fan at one time, but lost touch with them over the years. It's time to go back. Here's a look at their 2015 album, Why. Why is the second album that came from They Might Be Giants' 2015 Dial-A-Song um, service. It's also their fifth children's album, and to this date, as I'm making this video, their last one. I've never heard any of their children's albums, in fact, so this will be the first one that I heard. It's the only one of the five that is available on vinyl. So, let's go ahead and open it. Now, usually I clean my hands really well before I uh, open these, because I don't want to get my fingerprints all over the vinyl, but this time I went and I rubbed my hands in a bunch of mud puddles, just to Oops, just to sort of uh, be a contrarian. No, they're very clean. Well, they're relatively clean. Clean as mine ever get. And here we go. Why? There's no uh, special stickers on the uh, shrink wrap. First time ever in my life to see the inside gatefold of Why by They Might Be Giants. <sighs> oh, I can't do it. I'm too excited. You do it. Oh wait, no, this, no, this is a video. I have to do it. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. They might be giants. And the animals are saying, ooh, wee, ooh, plinky, plink, tap, 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 fa, squee, onk, boah, bara, ra, ra. What else do you want from a They Might Be Giants children's album? Okay, so nothing there. What is in here? Hold on, I heard something something in here what was that I bet it's a download code thank you for purchasing this copy of they might be giants why here's your download code okay here is the vinyl record oh you can see the label because it's cut out side a why they might be giants very simple very very uh, bold colors the pink and the turquoise on the black the other side same thing okay so let's take a look at the vinyl because who doesn't love taking a look at the vinyl Whee. There it is. Wow, it's really clean. The last two I opened, which were um, Glean and Nanobots, had a bunch of dust all over the vinyl. This has a very slight bit, but it actually looks pretty good. Kind of heavy. It's heavier than the other ones, I think. Anyway, great. So I'll go play it and listen to it a few times and we'll come back and talk about the music on it. Okay, I am initiated into the world of They Might Be Giants kids music after lo these many years. Or I have spent all week listening to why. Here are my thoughts. Well, obviously the most important point is, how does this differ from a regular adult TMBG album? First of all, it's just the second of three albums from the 2015 Dial-A-Song service, so in that sense it's similar to Gleam, which is to say just one third of a larger project. But why feels a bit more unified than Gleam, because it has a theme of sorts. It's kids music. Speaking of thirds, six of these 18 songs were actually not from Dial-A-Song, but were recorded just for Y. That's probably why it has a stronger internal structure than Glean did. And although this is my first TMBG Kids album, it's their fifth overall, and as of now, I haven't heard the first four. But I've often heard from TMBG fans online that their kids' music is perfectly enjoyable for adults too, and the band agrees. John Linnell and John Flansburg say in interviews that they are careful not to pander to kids, and that kids can enjoy music that isn't necessarily simplistic. And indeed, Y has a lot in common with any other TMBG album of the era. It's John and John, plus Dan, Danny, and Marty, playing rock and pop music with a wide range of styles and sounds, all with Pat Dillett producing. One thing I've been doing this week, in addition to listening to Y straight through, is listening to several TMBG albums, including Y, on shuffle. And generally, you'd never know the Y tracks came from a kid's album, since they integrate so seamlessly with the stuff from say, nanobots and glean and join us. But there is a difference to why, the subject matter in the songs. They Might Be Giants have always, always used unusual sounds and zany subject matter to go along with the conventional rock and roll stuff, just like on Why. But after listening to Why a bunch, I think there's a sort of spectrum of kidsness to the songs. On one end, you have straight up kids songs, like the first track, Oh You Did. On the other end, you have songs that could have been on Glean or any other adult album. Songs like Omnicorn or, or So I Have Read. I'd put several Y songs on any adult-themed TMBG mixtape. Mostly, there isn't any darkness or desperation or convoluted poetry to these songs, because that wouldn't be very appropriate. 
So the average center of Y is more to the childish end of the spectrum, but the overlap with the band's regular grown-up output is significant. I mean, looking at the band's history, for every meaty guitar song like Cyclops Rock, or heavy depressing statement like Pencil Rain, or tense bizarreness like Hate the Villanelle, man, I love Hate the Villanelle, there's an educational pop tune like Mammal, or a childlike sing-along like Particle Man. So people are right. Why is perfectly enjoyable by adult-minded adults who are uninterested in kids' music, but who like TMBG. In the end, the way I think of the situation is this. For any regular They Might Be Giants album, John and John both allow any input and influence into their music. It might be heavy rock, and it might be a tuba and flute piece, or some mixture. They don't restrict themselves to rules or specific styles or subject matter on their adult music. And so, sometimes the more simple and catchy and brainless stuff gets mixed in, and we're all fine with it. On an album like Why, they do restrict themselves to only the lighter fare. They're conscious of the young audience on Why, so while they aren't really pandering, usually, they are tailoring the music to suit a specific purpose, which is different. Even if it makes them arrive in the same musical places you'd find on some parts of a regular TMBG record. On why, the songs fall into two broad groups. Those about things that kids might relate to or respond to, like upsetting their parents and pretending to be invisible and just dancing deliriously for fun, and the advisory or instructional, like when the Johns encourage kids to read or be wary of what they read online, or to start taking climate change seriously. Songs from both groups are scattered across the kidsness spectrum on why. And occasionally they throw in something to make grown-ups take notice and smirk, like when suddenly Captain Beefheart is mentioned during Definition of Good. Again, the saving grace of why, and the reason the band releases kids' music as they might be giants, and the reason that we adult fans of the band can dig it, is that musically, except for a couple cases, you'd never know this was a kids' album. If you like the general idea of TMBG, and if you're watching this video, I assume you do, then why is awesome. It's stylistically diverse, which is something music nerds like to say. So it's got John Linnell's usual robust melodic rock and eccentric chamber pop, and Flansburg's post-punk jitteriness and idiosyncratic sonic excursions. The band is their usual great selves, and Pat Dillett wraps it all up in a nice, complete package. It's only the stuff down at the lower end of the kidsness scale that I find myself merely tolerating. That opening track, Oh You Did, is sung by Flans' wife Robin and really doesn't strike me as a TMBG song at all. If I heard it out of context of this album, it wouldn't even register with me. It just sounds like something they'd play in a kindergarten to get everybody to take a nap. But she also sings Long White Beard, which I really enjoy. They Might Be Giants bassist Danny Weinkoff sings his own song called Elephants. His kids narrate part of it too. It's a pretty cloying touch that makes it a bit more questionable. It sounds great though, and unlike maybe Oh You Did, I probably would actually skip over it. Actually, I probably wouldn't really skip over any of these songs. They're all 2.30 or less in length, which is how 18 of them fit on this album with room to spare. Maybe half of the songs on Y are only kids songs because they're on this particular album, but would fit on any other album. The other half are kids songs, but virtually all are acceptable as rock and pop songs for any They Might Be Giants fanatic. To put the whole kids versus adult music thing in perspective, here's John and John on a radio show in 2015 talking about one of the Y songs that made me laugh out loud when I first heard it, Thinking Machine. There's this one song we're working on called Thinking Machine, and it was revealed as we were finishing it that Linnell thought it was for the kids' record, and I thought it was for the adult <laughs> yes. record. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And I believe my response was a swear word. <laughs> right. Nice. All the dial song tracks from Y had videos made, some full productions or animations, others very rudimentary. The six songs done just for this album had no videos, so when listening to those, you'll have nothing to watch except the label spinning around and around on the turntable. About the vinyl version of Why, it's a big, glorious gatefold, as we saw. Again, I wish there were printed lyrics, and again, there aren't. Come on, Johns, print the words for us vinyl listeners. The CD didn't have lyrics either. So there isn't much to look at, except the animals and the bees with their neckties on the back. And I'm not complaining, I love the little bees. The download code worked too, despite my being five years late. So that's my thoughts on Why by There May Be Giants. The next album is the final of the 2015 trilogy, the adult album Phone Power. And it's on white vinyl, so don't miss it.
Maybe. And generally, you'd never really know that the tracks from Y are from Y. You wouldn't know what? You wouldn't. It just sounds like something they'd play in a kindergarten to get everybody to go to... to all, all the Dial-A-Song tracks. The next album is the last part of the 2015 Dial-A-Song trilogy, Glean. 